In enhanced rock weathering, ERW, a technique well known since ancient times, natural mafic rocks such as basalt are crushed and scattered on fields. These rocks are often exposed in Japan because of the frequent occurrence of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions here. Using these rocks produced naturally in Japan, we aim to achieve CO2 mineralization that is locally made and locally consumed. A major theme of this project will be the construction of an ERW information database for carbon accounting and clear measurement of the net amount of CO2 fixation, including in the natural carbon cycle. First, at Waseda University, we are directly measuring the rock's CO2 absorption rate. We've learned experimentally using a CO2 incubator that peridotite and serpentinite have excellent potential for fixing CO2 and absorb it exceptionally quickly. We are also conducting field tests measuring the amount of CO2 absorption in a fully controlled gas solid contactor, a so-called CO2 mineralization house. At Hokkaido University, we're working on two applications. The first involves scattering pulverized rock over farm fields. After scattering basalt over a farm, we measure the condition of the crop, net soil carbon sequestration, and finally, quantities of calcium and other substances remaining in the soil. The second application is being pursued in a closed mine in the town of Shikabe in Hokkaido. The drainage emitted from this mine is highly acidic. The scattered basalt has a neutralizing effect, while the calcium and magnesium contained in it are quickly eluded into the acidic drainage and run off to the nearby sea through the river. We expect those minerals not only to fix CO2 in the seawater by raising alkalinity, but also to contribute to growth of fish and kombu. On Ishigaki Island, Okinawa Prefecture, the soil is somewhat strongly acidic, so we are scattering basalt to increase its pH and supply nutrients. Local participants are conducting field tests to ascertain the effects on our main target crop, sugarcane. In the town of Yosano, Kyoto Prefecture, terraced rice paddies exist on land where serpentinite rock has been found. With the cooperation of local farmers, our team members scattered basalt on the farms, improving tests to evaluate the effects good or bad, on rice quality and crop growth. Currently, the rice is planted and we await the harvest. At its test farm in Scuba, the National Agriculture and Food Research Organization, NARO, is testing interactions in various combinations of crop types, mainly vegetables, applicable to the local soil types and scattering conditions. ERW is a technology that requires less water and land use for farming than other negative emission technologies. So it's a suitable technology for Japan, including the country's weather and soil features. If we can develop this technology in Japan, we can spread it to island nations in the volcanic zone of the Pacific Rim. We'll also be able to monitor the natural carbon cycle from mountains to sea via rivers. I hope many other Asian nations having similar geological conditions will implement this technology at an early date to enjoy its co-benefits. By developing AERW technologies using the characteristics of Japan's rocks and application sites, and using accurate carbon accounting in an agro-industrial approach, we aim for the early social implementation of negative emission technologies.